In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this interesting dilution calculations questions from one of our active viewers and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa. And if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, if you need more practice dilution calculation questions or you just need a thorough review, I'm going to put links to several videos in the description and I'm going to link a playlist in the cards. So I'm going to add this solution to this question to that playlist and you can take a look at all the dilution calculation questions that we've solved on this platform. But let's get right to the question. The question says you have 20 milliliter ampules of a concentration 0.75%. If you need to prepare a 250 milliliter solution having a concentration of 0.125%, what is the volume of diluent needed to prepare the solution? So there are two ways you can solve dilution calculations questions. You can solve them using the algebraic method or you could solve them using allegation. Now I'm going to start off by demonstrating how you solve this question using the algebraic method and then subsequently we'll look at how you solve the same question using the allegation method. Now to use the algebraic method we need to use the right form of the equation and that depends on the number of components we are mixing. So we do a quick analysis of the question and we can clearly see that we are going to have the solution the ampule which is 0.75%. And also, we're going to use a diluent. So we have two things that we are mixing. So that's a two component situation. So the equation that we want to use will be the version that says C1Q1 plus C2Q2 equals C final Q final, where your C1 is the concentration of the first component, Q1 is the quantity of the first component, C2 is the concentration of your second component and Q2 is the quantity of the second component, CF is your final concentration, and QF is the final quantity. So from this question, we can state that your C1 is going to be actually 0.75%. Your Q1, you actually do not know that, so we can still keep the variable Q1. C2 is going to be equal to the concentration of the diluent. The diluent has no API in it, so it's going to be zero. And then your Q2 is going to be your quantity. We also don't know what that is, so we can call that Q2. The final concentration is given as 0.125%. And then your final quantity is also given, and that's 250 milliliters. So now we can go ahead and substitute all of these values into the equation. And so we would have 0 0.75 times Q1 plus 0 times Q2 equals 0 0.125 times 250. Now 0 times any quantity is 0, so this goes to 0. And so you actually end up with 0 0.75 Q1 being equal to 0 0.125 times 250, which is equal to... 31.25 we divide both sides by 0.75 and q1 is going to be equal to 41.67 but q1 is actually the quantity of the solution in the ampules what we're looking for is q2 which is the volume of the diluent and so we make use of the understanding that q1 plus q2 is equal to q final and so that would imply that Q2 is equal to Q final minus Q1. So Q2 is going to be equal to 250 minus 41.67. And that is going to be equal to 208.33 milliliters. Now you can also solve the question using the allegation method. And for the allegation method, we will start off with our two vertical lines and two horizontal lines and the way the allegation method works is your higher concentration goes to the top left your lower concentration goes to the bottom left and your desired concentration goes in the middle so if you actually need a more exhaustive tutorial on allegation calculations i'm going to put links to several videos in the description and i'm going to link a playlist and the cards so just go through that and if you need further understanding you'll get some insight as to how it works but for this question, the higher concentration is actually going to be the 0 0.75. 
the lower concentration is going to be the concentration of the diluent. Now, since it's a diluent, the concentration is zero. And then our desired is the 0 0.125 that goes in the middle. So to fill the grid, we will have 0 0.75 at the top. We will have zero at the bottom. And then we have 0 0.125 in the middle. And so the way the allegation method works is in order to find the number of parts of the 0% of the diluent, you subtract the desired concentration from the higher concentration and that goes to the bottom right. So we have 0 0.75 minus 0 0.125 and that gives us 0 0.625, which implies that in this preparation, we have 0 0.625 parts of the 0% solution or the diluent. Now, we also need to find the number of parts of the 0.75% or your higher concentration. And the way you do that is you subtract the lower concentration from the desired concentration. And so we have 0 0.125 minus 0, and that also gives 0 0.125. Now, the 0 0.125 once again represents the number of parts of the 0.75% solution. Now, because we've been given the total quantity, which is 250, we also need to determine the total parts. And so the way you get the total parts is you add the 0 0.125 to the 0 0.625, and that should give a total of 0 0.75. So your total parts is 0 0.75. And that 0 0.75 goes with the 250 milliliters. It actually represents the 250 milliliters because that's your total volume. And so to find the volume of the diluent, we will take the number of parts of the diluent divided by the total parts and set that equal to a proportion. So what that would look like is you have 0 0.625 divided by 0 0.75, and that will be equal to some volume in milliliters divided by the total volume that we need to prepare, which is 250 milliliters. So now we can go ahead and solve for X, which is our unknown, and x is going to be equal to 0 0.625 times 250 milliliters divided by 0 0.75. And that is going to be equal to 208.33 milliliters. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.